Little means our story time. What are we reading today? To be good in secret. Huh? How to be good in secret? How to be good? Yes. No, I don't think so. How to be cool in how to, third grade? Yeah, how to be cool in the third grade. Eh, not cool. 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 Uh oh, I'm having a running nose. <coughs> 怎么办？在流鼻水。How to be cool in third grade? 好啦，废话不多说。<laughs> 我们来读，我们已经读到第三章了，对不对 ？Remember, the first thing he's going to do is get rid of the name Robbie. And how about the second thing? And then he's going to get. He he needs to get get jeans. And then he needs to get white and oh no. Have you read that? No, no, no. Where is where is? He's gonna get he and needs to get a sharp pencil. We don't have a bookmark here, but this should be the chapter we we should read. This is the chapter we should read. Smile and say. Smile and say cheese. Where's the cheese? Where's the smile? Where's the cheese? Here's the smile. I want cheese. I want cheese. There you are. His mother called out as Robbie came into the kitchen. She was loading a roll of film into her camera. Robbie dropped his backpack and sat down at the kitchen table. There was a big pile of pancakes on on his plate, his favorite. He leaned over the plate and inhaled the aroma of the pancakes. He reached for the syrup. Do you like pancake? Yes. You do. But I can't eat syrup. I will make you some pancake tomorrow. His mother snapped. No thanks. I already ate. Pancakes. You don't want pancakes. Okay, okay. I will eat your pancakes. No. His mother snapped the camera shut. She began to wind a knob, as、uh, wind the knob a knob on the back. His mother took pictures of everything. She had five whole scrapbooks filled with pictures of Robbie. All the pictures were carefully labeled. So his mom and me are different. She likes everything to be labeled. 对不对？跟爷爷一样， yeah. just like grandpa. Yep. Robbie's first step. Robbie's first toy. Robbie's first birthday cake. Robbie's first everything. Yeah. Oh, today was his first day of third grade. His first time on the school bus. He, <laughs> sorry, she was going to take pictures at the bus stop. Not cool. Yep. I don't think a. Third grade boy will want to see his mom taking a picture of him on the bus. Yeah. He could just imagine the bus, the school bus pulling up with all the kids looking out their windows. There he would be with his mother, having his picture taken like a baby. His mother couldn't do that to him. Could he? Could she? Robbie,、yeah, I thought、sure. I would wait, walk up to the bus stop with you and take a few pictures. Yes, she could. She could. Robbie stared at his pancakes. He wasn't hungry anymore. He was a third grader now. He wanted to go up to the bus stop by himself. He did not want to get his picture taken in front of a bus load of kids. <laughs> is is that going to embarrass you? Can I take a picture of you on a bus? Yeah, next year. No. Oh, by the, I, we don't have school bus. We can do it in in the in front of the school. No. No. And she would probably kiss him right there on the street in front of the whole world. <laughs> you look at her again. She had on her brightest red lipstick. Smack! He could just imagine it. He tried to think of the right words to say. The words would not come. 对啊，他不能说任何伤害他妈妈的话，又不想做这件事，那怎么办呢 ？Oh, Robbie, she continued. Your father and I are so proud of you. Starting third grade, riding the school bus. She looked like she was about to cry. <laughs> he couldn't tell her now. Maybe he said, "Could help." He looked across the table at his father. Nope, his dad had that our baby's growing up look too. It was、baby. hopeless. 
Yep. You you guys are always baby in front of your parents. You're always a baby. You baby little Mimi. <laughs> Smile and say cheese. Thought Robbie. Being cool was going to be harder than he thought. He picked up his fork and began to pick at the pancakes. As he ate his sorry, as he ate, he watched his mother get the camera ready. Three different lenses, two filters. Wow, his mom is professional. Have you seen the tripod? Oh, she's taking the tripod. Maybe his mom will want to have a picture with him, in front of the bus. If only he could get to the bus stop without his mother, she walk out of the kitchen. Robbie heard her walk up the stairs. She was looking for the tripod that should keep her busy for a while. His father was still finishing his coffee, hidden behind the paper. Robbie saw his chance and he took it. Guess what? What did he do? Go, 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 go at the door. Go to the bus stop. But mom gets up for him. No. And how would how would you feel if he, you are his mom? Sad too. Oh yeah, I will feel sad too. But 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 but. But, but I will understand. I won't. <clears throat> I won't understand why she d- he does that. Hi. <sighs> Bye, Dad. He called and headed for the door. His father didn't look up. Quickly, Robbie. Headed for the bus stop. It was only one block away. He stood on the corner and watched his driveway. If the bus came on time, he could. He would make it. No pictures. No kisses. Would the bus ever come? One more、yeah. minute, and his mother would be out with the camera. Come on, come on! He thought. Come on! He hoped that the bus wouldn't be late. He closed his eyes. Come on! Robbie heard the bus before he saw it. It came into view around the corner of Cherrywood and Franklin. I made it, thought Robbie. I made it. No camera, no pictures, no kid. Robbie, Robbie. He saw his mother hurrying down the driveway. A large camera bag <laughs> hung from her shoulder. He had not. Made it. <laughs> oh, Robbie! I was afraid I was going to miss it. His mother had the camera in her hand. Worse than that, she had just put on more lipstick, bright red. He could imagine the print of the lipstick on his cheek, kissed by your mom in front of a busload of kids. What an uncool day, uncool way to start third grade. The bus ground to a stop. The driver pulled on a metal bar and the door swung open. Robbie's mother began snapping pictures. Turn your head a little this way, she said. Robbie ducked as he headed towards the stairs of the bus. 哦，他的妈妈真的要亲他呢，怎么办？你会躲开吗？不会，你会给他亲一下。His mom smiled. Bye, Robbie. She said, "Have a great day." The red lips came forward. He ducked ever even lower. Smack! Direct hit. His mother had perfect aim. She got him right on the side of the face. He thought. He heard a few giggles from inside the bus. His face felt hot. As he hurried up the steps, he heard the camera still clicking. Then, like a sign of relief, the door hissed and eased shut. At least the pictures and the kisses were behind him now. In his mind, he added another step to being cool to his list. Number three, no more kisses at the bus stop. He wiped his cheek with the back of his hand and started down the the aisle. The aisle. He could see Doc waving at him from the back of the bus. He moved toward Doc. 
His first day of third grade was about to begin. Starting now, it was going to be a great year. Do you think so? Nope. You don't think so? Why not? You don't think it's going to be a great year? I do. Like, I don't think you will. What is this? Bo Henny? Is that the person? I guess. Bo Henny. Oh, I have to read it to find out. Yep, I will read it next time. Okay, time to go. Bye-bye.